What's up guys, Troy from Tag Cutters, welcome back. Um, I made a video about fixing a throw net. I think it's pretty informational um, and educational, informational, educational, is that a thing? Uh, whatever. But anyways, um, I think that it'll help you guys. It's about fixing a throw net. Uh, these things get expensive. So when they get hung up, you get, they get tore up. You guys can fix these things. Um, I've learned over the years how to fix them. And um, I showed you guys how, how that I, I fix my throw nets. But anyways, um, I messed up on a few things. I showed the parts of the, of the throw net and I was calling the, the braille line, the lead line, which it is not a lead line, it is a braille line. So you guys bear with me, I'm gonna post this video anyways. Um, like I said, I messed up a little bit, but after going back and thinking about what I was saying and watching the video myself, um, I realized that I called it a, a lead line when it's really a braille line. But anyways, guys, here's the video and hope it helps you guys. What's up, guys? Troy from Tag Catters. Welcome back. Um, today, we are going to talk about throw nets. Um, I've got a throw net here that I've had for about four or five months. I think I paid about $110 for the thing. And the problem is, is I've torn it up. Um, I know this has happened to all cat fishermen. You know, you throw the net, they get hung up on rocks, they get hung up on um, logs, they rip, they tear, uh, the leads break. Um, but what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to fix this thing. Um, let me show you the first thing. Uh, I got this thing, I, I threw it at the locks and it got hung up on some rocks. Um, I could not get it, get it undone. I pulled and pulled and pulled. And finally what it did is it broke, um, it broke the leads on it. Luckily it didn't rip it real bad. Um, it may have some tiny holes in it, which, which I'm going to show you guys how to repair those too. Uh, but let me show you what this is and, uh, we'll get into this. All right, guys, here's the throw net I have. It is a seven foot um, pound per foot I'm gonna show you guys the parts of it of course this is your net right here um, this here this is called the horn these are called leads and I will show you the lead line um, here is the lead line that's your lead line so what has happened is when I threw this thing uh, got hung up on something of course when you pull it up, this pulls the leads and that pulls the lead line up around the bait fish or whatever you're trying to catch or whatever whatever's caught in your net. But what's happened is it got hung up on some rocks. Uh, the lead line, this lead line here has got hung up on some rocks and I pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled until I broke a couple of, uh, a couple of these lead lines. And today we are going to spread this thing out and we're gonna replace these. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna take your net this is a larger net. You can do this with any size net uh, from three and a half foot all the way up to 12 foot. The first thing you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna wanna spread this thing out. Um, like you're gonna throw it. <clears throat> spread it out. And you are going to pull, pull this in. Like you were pulling in after you throw it. So as you can see, it doesn't pull all the way up because the lead lines are not on here. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take now and find which lead lines are broke, which I already know which ones are broke on this one. It's these ones here. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get some leader line. And what I've got today is, uh, is 50 pound, some type of 50 pound mono I got from Walmart, but it, it'll work fine. I think this is a little bigger than 50 pound. I think this is probably either 80 or 100 but 50 is what I'm gonna use. So I'll end up cutting these off and uh, we're gonna redo them. But the first thing we need to do is we need to get the line and uh, we're gonna stretch these out and get everything cut to measurements. All right, so here's the line I've got. That's what we're gonna use for these lead lines. Um, I've got the piece to the old one. We're gonna measure that and we're gonna cut all this right, off. So we've got all these cut, all these lead lines cut. Uh, they're measured to uh, about seven foot. Um, what I did was, like I said, I took the old lead lines that were broke. I pulled them off there and measured the new line out. So next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna tie them to this swivel. This is where all your other lead lines will be tied to, so we're gonna tie those onto there. All right, so the next thing, guys, as you can see, I got all the new leads tied onto the swivel. Um, these do have some small tag ends and what I've learned to do, because if you don't do this, it will mess up your 
throw when you uh, when you throw this. You got to tape it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black tape and I'm gonna tape that swivel up. You wanna make sure you tape it good and tight so it doesn't get in the way when you're throwing, doesn't get caught on anything. Because I'm telling you, if you do not do this, those tag ends will get caught on your net and you won't you won't be able to get anything because it'll pull your net right up. Once you get taped up, you know, see that? No more tag ends. All right, so here's the next process. All right, so once you got your all, all your new lead lines tied on, you are going to pick your net up. You're going to pull it. Let me back this up. Let me back up so you guys can see this. But you're going to pull your net up like this. As you can see, only part of that net pulls up. Well, the part that doesn't pull up, that's going to be what you want to tie your new lead lines to. I'm going to spread this out so I can get untangled from all these new lead lines. Y'all don't be laughing at my white legs. And then we're going to take each individual lead line one by one and we're going to take it through the horn. As you can see, the old ones, they go through the horn. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the, each lead line. Put my, put my hand up in here. Like so. Push my hand through the horn, pull that lead line through. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where the old lead line was attached to, and I'm going to tie that on there. It don't really matter what knot you tie, guys, as long as you, as long as it'll hold. Uh, I'm just tying an approved clinch knot on these. It will hold. I've done this a thousand times. Well, I say that, and then I can't tie the main thing. You're just gonna repeat that process. All right, guys, we've got all the lead lines tied on to where they're supposed to be, and it looks like we have fixed this throw net. Um, once you get all those tied on, uh, to check it, to make sure you're right, pull it out, like so, and pull the lead lines, pull them up, and make sure all your lead line is being pulled up at the same time and evenly. And if that does, then you have fixed your problem. <clears throat> and the next thing is, all right, say you get a tear in your net. You know, you get, say it gets caught on a log or something and you pull it, it gets a big tear in it. What you can do is go through and trim all the excess off and take some small diameter um, or small pound um, fishing line and you can go through and tie your net back together, kind of like sewing it back together. Um, I've done that many times. Uh, this saves a huge amount of money. I know these things get expensive. Uh, like I said, I think I paid like $110 for this thing. Um, 
they can get very, very exp expensive and they are very essential. Um, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.